Hey, this is Brian from Northwest Bronco, and today I'm going to show you one of three things just released from iCamper. First of all, let me say I'm not associated with iCamper at all, but I do sign up for their newsletter, which gives me kind of a special notification uh, when new products are coming out and the kind of the ability to purchase them a little bit quicker. Because at the time of making this video, I do not believe it's available on their website. As we all know in the Overland community, you do not leave your garbage out in the wilderness, and most people will just pack like a regular garbage bag in their car, and that gets kind of stinky, especially if you have like uh, those doo-doo bags that you can get um, to haul out your own waste. Uh, so you want to keep it out of the car. So what this product does, similar to a Trasheroo, it is a bag that straps on the back of your spare tire where you can put all of your garbage, all of your um, cans and bottles in it, and if you do decide to use a duty bag, um, you can put it in there too, and it won't smell in your car. All right, now that we've established what these bags are used for, let's talk about this one in particular. Now this one was about $100, which is not bad for a bag like this. It's made of polyester, so you can wipe it off clean, and it's also water resistant. Um, and it also has the ability to kind of roll the top down to keep it nice and compact. Now let's talk about the one thing that caught my eye immediately when I saw this bag, and that was the color scheme. Um, I like the fact that it's a two-tone gray. I believe it's called slate gray, but I'm not sure about that. But my Bronco is black and carbonized gray, so I like the fact that it really matches the color of my Bronco. Now another feature I like about it is it does have this reflective stripe around the bottom, and that actually covers the big zipper. And that's kind of nice because then it, it's nice and reflective on the back of your vehicle to kind of keep the rear end of your vehicle a little more protected. Now another unique feature about this bag is it does have a zippered bottom, so you can actually unzip the entire bottom like this and all of your contents will just come out the bottom. Now it's not for getting rid of your contents, it's for in case the bottom of your bag is dirty or you just want to wash it out, it's easily accessible. Now it does have a zippered front right here, a zipper here, and a zipper here. And you can see I can put my arm all the way through, so this is just one big zippered front compartment. The trash caddy also has a couple of pockets on the sides that actually have a retention strap right here. A little bit of molly webbing, and these um, pockets are about as deep as my hand, and they are on both sides of the bag. Now inside the bag there's nothing special, it's just a big open space. Um, but it does have this cool ability to kind of roll down to make it more compact, and then it has the latch to keep things closed up nice and tight. I have a 35 inch tire on the back of my Bronco and I did find these straps to be a little bit too short to be able to cross them behind the tire when attaching the bag, but it's okay. All I did was run them straight down to each other um, and that seems to fit just fine, but it does have this cross strap that goes across the top of your tire to kind of hold the straps together. So before we go ahead and mount it on the Bronco, I'm going to talk a little bit about what people use this for besides just hauling their trash. A lot of times what people will do is they'll put their firewood in here going to camp, and then once they get to camp, they unload the firewood, and then, they, then the bag's empty, and then as the trip goes on, they put their trash in it. So it's kind of like hauling firewood and up, and then once you're up and set up, then you haul your trash down. A lot of people use this for other things too. Some people will put recovery gear in it. Uh, some people will keep their dirty laundry in there. Basically anything that might smell or be dirty. I found that it's better just to use it for what it's designed for because recovery gear, if you don't know, can be pretty heavy. And I want this bag to last, so I don't really want to weigh it down. Now I'm going to show you how I pack this. Now I do have experience with these because I had a trash roo before I had this. And the reason why I made the switch is simply because it's a new product and I like to try new things. Also because it was only a hundred bucks, which really isn't that bad. But I like the reflective stripe. I like the color scheme, which matches my Bronco perfectly. And of course, I run an iCamper tent up there. So the whole thing just kind of fits the theme of the vehicle because aesthetics do matter. All right, here comes some tips and tricks when it comes to packing one of these. Now, like I said, I keep it very light. I don't put much in here. On the outside, I have nothing except for I do have a wisp brush that I just stick on the side because when you get done with a dirt road and you stop at camp, um, before you open the back of your Bronco up, you want the ability to dust off the back of your vehicle. It's nice to have one of these brushes right here accessible. 
So we're gonna go ahead and dive in and I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks that I know on how to pack these things. Um, but you will notice that the bottom of the of this of the trash caddy, unlike the trash roux, is kind of has a nice firm base to it, so it kind of keeps itself kind of puffed out a little bit, which helps because then it's not just the saggy bag on the back of your um, back of your Bronco or Jeep. Plus, um, a lot of people will keep like a like a bucket in here or a trash bin in there, which will kind of keep the whole thing kind of um, puffed out instead of being collapsed. All right, let's go ahead and pop open this thing. You see there's plenty of room and I keep a five gallon bucket in here with a trash liner because that way when I open up the top here, it's kind of an easier target when I go to throw my garbage in there. And plus I'll show you another trick you can do with one of these. So if you have the five gallon bucket, yes, it does work as a trash can, but also it doubles as a toilet. So if you keep a, a toilet seat on there, one of these was just clips onto the top of the bucket and, and double duty bags and a package of wet wipes in there. It doubles as a bathroom for you. So in an emergency, all I have to do is take out the trash out of the bucket, drop in a double duty bag, get my wet wipes, go find a tree to lean against. And uh, in an emergency, you can use it as a toilet and because your bag's on the outside of the vehicle, you simply zip lock your bag shut with your stuff in it and just throw it in the garbage and that way you don't have to smell it. Some of us with Jeeps or Broncos might have a camera in the back and you actually say, well, can I still use my camera in the back? Obviously the answer is no, it's gonna cover that up. So it's up to you whether or not you decide, do I want the camera or do I wanna keep everything on the outside of my vehicle? That's sort of up to you. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, go ahead and uh, give it a like and maybe subscribe for more Bronco content. And if you have any questions or comments, put them in below in the comment area. And we will see you next time.